Hey, good evening, everyone. I'm Ashley Moore, and thanks so much for joining us tonight. Well, the Houston Texans training camp is just a week away, and we are joined by John Hickman with Locked On Houston Texans Sports Podcast to talk all things and the storylines leading into training camp. How you doing today, John? I'm doing great. Uh, heading to the weekend. Training camp is next week, and I think everybody here in Houston and all the Texan fans are just excited to get to some Texan football. Absolutely. I mean, let's talk storylines. Going into training camp is when we'll be able to see all these different pieces work together. But Davis Mills, he's entering his second season. Um, yes. A lot of stakes are on Davis Mills. What are we going to be looking for with Davis Mills and I guess some uh, wide receiver tandem? Well, I think we're, we are looking for Davis Mills to build off of how he ended last year going into year two. Last season, Davis Mills was one of the best deep throw quarterbacks in the NFL. A passes of 20 or more yards down the field. And so we want to see that. We want to see how Davis Mills and Pep Hamilton offense is going to look this season as well. We know we got away from Tim Kelly last season. Pep Hamilton was a hire that Houston had to go with because they didn't want to risk losing him. Also, Nico Collins, he also is a second-year player out of Michigan, drafted late last year for Houston. Will he be a more effective wide receiver for this offense? He's a big receiver, stands about 6'3", 220 pounds. We need to see him in the red zone, red zone this year, and I think that is one of his main priorities and goals for the Houston Texans, allow them to use you as an asset to score touchdowns. Okay, bet. I mean, so we talked about the wide receivers, but what about running back? Houston was dead last in running yards last year. You're bringing back Rex Burkhead, uh, Marlon Mack, injury prone. But you got Damon Pierce that you grabbed in the fourth round. Uh, that's a big one to watch out for in the running game with Houston as well, right? Absolutely. But when we talk about the run game, we have to look at Houston upgrading their offensive line first. Okay. They draft the Kenyon Green out of Texas A&M. He's a Houston Atascacita kid. They really like him. Also, when they hired George Warhop, brought him over from Jacksonville. They also brought a familiar face with him as well with A.J. Can, who he spent time with during his time in, in, in uh, with the Jags. So they upgraded their offensive line. They moved Titus Howard back to right tackle. Laramie Tunsil is back, and he seems committed now now that that's fixed, we'll be able to see Marlon Mack, who they signed in the offseason. He'll be successful for the Houston run game. And Damian Pierce, we expect for him to be successful as well. We The NFL just announced that uh, teams can have alternate helmets. And uh, those battle red helmets he was to release. <laughs> Ideally in the world, if this was Madden and I could pick my jersey and I can customize it, I do the all-white jerseys with the red helmet. Okay. And some red cleats. I see where you go with that one. It's too icy. I see where you go with that one. I, I would, I would do that. This is not Madden. And by the way, Madden got those Madden rankings kind of looking bad for Houston right now. Yeah. Uh, but in real life, we'll see how Houston does it. Oh, for sure. Uh, I hope, hopefully, we could see these new helmets more than once. But I mean, there is nothing but excitement for this Houston Texans coming forward because. Is this been losing seasons previously? So hey, it's been bad. It's, it's been bad. It's the only way to go is up. Well, thank you so much, John, for once again gracing our stage. We appreciate you coming with all your Houston, Texas insight. Absolutely. And always thank you guys for having me.